So we're going to update the firmware on the V-1HD Plus video mixer by Roland. And we're going to do that right now. Hi, I'm Paul, the Outdoor Movie Guy. I've been in the outdoor movie business for more than 10 years now. Before that was in information technology. The device that we're using is a video switcher. It's a four port video switcher. One of those is scaling. It does have HDCP, so you will be able to play Blu-rays and stuff like that from it. But with any piece of technology you can often update the firmware that's the the software that actually makes it run and we're going to do that right now now on some of the devices you can do it directly from a, a laptop or whatever with this one you do need to copy it to a usb drive it has to be in the root directory that's all the way at the top and nothing else should be on that drive so we're going to do that right now i'm just going to switch over Okay, so here we go. We're on the support site right now. We're at um, Roland Pro AV Roland .com. And the first thing I'll do is go to the support section within the support support section. I can type in my product name one dash one HD plus. Now do make sure you put the plus in there. There is another another very similar mixer and you're going to make sure you do put the right firmware on that we want to um, select this guy we're going to wait for that to open it may take a couple of seconds and now we're actually looking for the vh1 plus system program version 1.14 we'll go ahead and we're going to agree and download the file appreciate not having to sign up for anything thank you roland and now we do have that downloaded so the instructions are there, but we're just going to go through it really quickly. Um, what do you need? You need the, the V1 HD plus, you need a display monitor and a USB memory. The, here I have my, my um, drive. There is nothing on this drive. So if I want to put something in the root folder, there's my download right here. I'm going to copy it and paste it over. So that update is right there. I'm going to um, eject my USB drive. It is now safe to remove. So we have the unit powered on right now. We are going to check what version we're currently running. The new version is 1.14, the old version that could be something different. And we're going to check that right now. If you check a version, we're going to hit the menu button right here going to scroll all the way down to number 17 and scroll all the way down to page four and you'll see we are 1.12 and the new version is 1.14 so we are cool to update on the back you're going to see we do have two different usb ports this usb port is used uh, when you're connecting with an ipad that's not for doing the update um, to do the update, you do need to plug it into the USB memory right here. Um, the device does need to be turned off. So I'm going to turn the device off. I'm going to plug in my USB and then turning that on right there will um, power it on. But we do have to hold a button combo. It's like an old... Um, computer game you would hold button combos down to to get the special menus the special powers and this is the same thing with doing the firmware update you've got to hold certain keys down to do the update you need to hold setup picture in picture and split all down at the same time when you power the unit on then when all three are lit it will then pop up to the screen to allow the update to happen so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold all three down to begin with. And I'm going to go ahead and power this guy on. And you have to depress those. You have to hold them down uh, until all three are lit. Once all three are lit, which they are right now, I should be able to let go. And then in a second, we're going to see them on this little display right here. Here we are. System update. Press enter. Pressing enter on this. This is your enter button, so I'm going to press enter. And you'll see now it says reading the program. Let me see if I can pop something behind there to, to allow it to do this. Now, 
during this process, it's really important to make sure that your unit does not lose power, that you do not pull the USB out. And I wouldn't touch any of the buttons right now while it's doing that update. Um, let it run its course. Once it's done, we can go in and see if it updated uh, the version. Um, never do an update. If everything's working fine and you've got an event the next day, I don't suggest necessarily doing the update before you go to that event because you're kind of asking for trouble if you do have an issue. So we're at 74% in a second. It's going to allow us to restart. To restart it, we're going to power the device off, pull that USB out, and then power the device back on. Oh, there we go. So if you see what it says right here, it says update completed 100%. Please restart. So I'm going to power the device off. Button on the back right there. Removing that USB, fingers on the back, turning it back on. And now when it boots up. Now this device, I, I have a number of the uh, V1 HDs, the first version of it, and it would actually start up very, very quickly. This is a lot more involved mixer. It has more audio functions, a lot more stuff that it can actually do. And there's a, I, I guess it takes a little bit longer to to boot up because of that. So boot up does take a while. I'm still rambling and it's still booting up. Uh, eventually that will finish its boot up. There it goes. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and check that we do have the updated version. I'm going to go to my menu button. Perfect. I'm going to scroll down to that second page. System. I'm going to press enter. I'm on the first page. It's on the last page and you will now see I have version 1.14 and that is the most up-to-date version at this time. If you do have any questions, just jam in the comments below. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.